Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen. This is Steph. It is dinner time and I made a meatloaf the other day but I actually like uh, meatloaf sandwiches better than the meatloaf. So what I've got here is some whole grain bread and I've got some meatloaf and cheese in the middle. I'm melting a little bit of butter in a skillet and I'm going to try making a grilled meatloaf sandwich with cheese. So I don't know how it's going to turn out but it sounds kind of good so here we go. Okay, time to put the sandwich in. Press that baby down and let it get brown and toasty on one side. Then I'll add just a little bit more butter to the skillet and grill the other side. Okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more butter to toast the other side. I like to do it this way because I find I don't use as much butter and I still get a wonderful uh, toast on the, on the sandwich. Okay, this is a monster sandwich. I don't think I'll be eating it all tonight, but oh, here goes. Okay, it's nice and crunchy on the top. Hey friends, for a side dish for tonight's dinner, I'm making an old favorite. It's called Harvard Beets. Um, it's a sweet and sour side dish, and I think it will go really good with my grilled meatloaf sandwich. So what I've done here, I have an 8 ounce can of beets that I drained. Of course, you can boil your own fresh beets, but um, I'm using canned, and I have reserved the juices in here, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some cornstarch, and back here is sugar and vinegar, and I like caraway seeds, so I will put some caraway seeds in there too, but I'll get the uh, sauce items mixed together, and then I'll put them on the burner and bring them to a bubble, then I will add the beets and just kind of simmer that for a little while but it's going to be delicious. After a few minutes, the cornstarch will begin to dissolve along with the sugar and you will get a nice, thick, clear sauce. Let me show you. That's how it should look. Just cook it for another minute or so. This is also a good time to taste for seasoning if you like the sweet and tart level or if you want to adjust it a little bit you might want to add a little bit more sugar or a little bit more vinegar. It's just to taste. And they are all ready for dinner. Hey guys dinner is ready. Here it is the grilled meatloaf sandwich add a couple of grape tomatoes and a couple of slices of dill pickle and here are the sweet and sour beets so that's what's for dinner on Wednesday evening and thank you so much for stopping by okay I will see you soon